mutation theory of evolution given by Hugo de Vries in 1901. This theory states that new species are not formed by continuous variation but by sudden appearance of variation which he named mutation. He done an experiment over about 50,000 species of evening primrose scientifically named Inothera lamarckian. He took the normal plant and done a cell pollination. Seeds are formed. With the seeds, two types of plants are formed. Normal plant, immaturity and different plants. Fewer in number. After the after cell pollination of normal plant and different plant, seeds are obtained. From the seeds of normal plant, normal plant and different plants are formed. Still here, normal plant is in majority. Different plants that are obtained in last generations after cell pollination give different plants and another types of different plants in fewer in number. After this experiment, he gives the following features. First, Mutations or discontinuous variation are the raw material for evolution. For example, number of toes in all birds species ranges from 2 to 5. Mutations appear sudden and become operational immediately. All mutations are inheritable. Evolution is a jerky and discontinuous process. U useful variations are selected by nature. Lethal mutations are eliminated. However, useless or less harmful persist in progeny. Accumulation of variation produce new species. Criticism for this theory first. Plant used not normal have chromosomal variations. Natural mutations are not common. Most mutations are negative. Mutations are generally recessive. Wild traits taking part in evolutions are usually dominant. Does not explain the role of nature. Mutation could be backward also from different plants to normal also. Rate of mutation is very low. That is one out of million. Hope you understand the basic concept of mutation theory of evolution. Thank you for listening.